I'm a big believer in change, and change must come from within. And that means that you have to start to reprogram your subconscious mind towards the things that you actually desire. You can't keep doing the same things every single day and expect something different to change. You can't expect your goals to be achieved if you've not actually started working on your mindset that actually fuels the fire towards desire and ultimately accomplishment. So therefore, you need to start reprogramming your subconscious mind. Now we know how effective reprogramming the subconscious mind is at night, but there's also an opportunity to start to reprogram your subconscious mind when you're awake as well. Don't avoid reprogramming your subconscious when you're awake. All the programming that actually goes into our mind happens during the day when we're awake, subjected to different information all day long, and that actually impacts the subconscious mind. When you go to sleep at night, unless you're thinking about and worrying about the next day or things that have already happened, then really you're not programming your subconscious mind. So if you can take control of your subconscious, especially when you're awake, then you can start to reprogram it, start to change it, and start to get better outcomes. And it's taken me years upon years to actually figure out what is the best techniques to reprogram the subconscious, especially during the day. And that's what I'm gonna explain in today's video, all about how I really reprogram my subconscious mind. And I've taken advantage of doing it during the day, when I'm awake, so I can be conscious of what is actually being impressed into the subconscious. And then I can take advantage of it, then accelerate myself towards all the goals that I want. First thing that you really need to do is be aware, whatever's in your surrounding, you have to be aware that that thing or them conversations or that information is gonna impact your subconscious mind. So it's about being conscious of the fact that you've got a subconscious. And that sounds a bit weird because we all know we've got a subconscious, but really 90 to 95% of our life is running autopilot. We're just doing the motions of the same things every single day. And it's about stopping and realizing on that autopilot mode. And we wanna stop it and we wanna be conscious of the fact that what's happening around us. And that can go for negative conversations. So you're in a negative conversation. Maybe you're talking about someone at work. Maybe you're talking about a boss or whatever. You have to stop yourself out of that autopilot and realize that that's affecting the subconscious mind. You then have to get away from that conversation because it's gonna impress on the mind and it's gonna be negative. Be conscious of the fact that you are in autopilot. Remove yourself from autopilot and then start to put in the things that you need to start reprogramming the mind. Now it's really difficult to then reprogram the subconscious mind when it's really fast and active. So when you are thinking about stuff or you're worrying about stuff, your mind's really active and it's thinking and it's creating and it's creating problems that's not even there most of the time. So you have to actually start to slow down the mind because you wanna open up the subconscious. You wanna to start to slow down the conscious mind Mind, the awareness and open up the subconscious so the best way to do that is simply by either some breath work meditation or using binaural beats in a theta brainwave and this will start to naturally slow down the chemicals in the mind the speed of what the mind's vibrating at and then hopefully then once you slow it down the subconscious then can start to open up and actually be influenced and impressed with all the things that you want whilst you're really consciously moving fast and your brain's really active your subconscious mind is just reacting constantly reacting 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 and it's really difficult to stop it from reacting and start to put in the things that you want and the only way to do that is slow it down so spend 10 or 15 minutes slowing it down through meditation some breath work or listen to binaural beats and then start to reprogram it using different techniques and one of the most trickiest things about the subconscious is it takes repetition so you have to repeatedly put in the information over 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 and then over again to actually get it into the mind. Think about it like hitting a hammer onto a nail, into a bit of wood. If you only hit it once, there's no way that that nail is gonna sink deep into that bit of wood. So you have to repeatedly hit it over and over and over again and it goes deeper into that wood. And that's how you wanna look at your subconscious. Look at it like you need to hammer in the information over and over and over again. And the more you can hammer it in, the quicker it starts to reprogram. But if you only do it once or twice and then leave a few weeks, then you'll never get there. You'll never get to that point where you've reprogrammed or hammered in the information that you want. So I start off with affirmations or written affirmations. And I start to write down the things that I wanna transform. I wanna start to write down my goals. I wanna start to write down affirmations, positivity. And really I wanna start to script all the things that are in my mind onto paper so I can remove it. I wanna remove all the negative. I wanna start feeding it with positivity and by writing it over and over again in an affirmation format in a journal just helps that 
repetition into the mind. And you can spend 10 minutes doing this, you can just carry on with your day, and then when you feel like you're a bit overwhelmed, then you stop and then you put in your next actions. And it's just a continuation and a build up of continually reprogramming the mind. So the next place that I go is post-it notes. I love post-it notes because post-it notes, you can put your desires, you can put your goals, you can put your transformation, and you can write it down and you can stick it absolutely anywhere that you want in your car, in your office, at home, on the refrigerator, wherever it is, you can stick a post-it note. And every time you see that post-it note, you trigger an emotion and a thought into your subconscious mind to remind yourself to continue to move towards the goal. And I use this really specifically for goal setting. So if I've got a major goal that I want to achieve, I'll write my goal on post-it notes and stick it absolutely everywhere. So every time I see it, even if I consciously don't recognize it, the subconscious is seeing it, and that goal is just flashed into the vision of my mind and I see it over and over again. And that is a really positive way of starting to impress influence the subconscious. Then you could use vision boards. Vision boards work the exact same, but instead of the words, you see the picture and images are a lot better for the subconscious because you think in vision format. So you seeing that image over and over again really impresses it. And the more detailed and the more specific that goal is, even better. So if it's a specific type of car that you wanna manifest, then if you had the picture of that exact car, all the details, then it's so much better for the subconscious rather than seeing a generic car. And then I finish it all off with just different techniques like the mirror technique, standing in the mirror, looking deep into your eyes and saying out your affirmations like you're speaking direct into the subconscious. And then I'm flooding my subconscious mind with so much positivity. Audiobooks, affirmations, subliminal messages. I'm surrounding myself with knowledge of the people, the leaders, the people that I wanna be like. I'm flooding my mind with that constantly when I'm driving, when I'm making some food, when I'm cleaning up, when I'm exercising. I'm just flooding my mind with positivity because I'm, I'm trying to negate all the negativity and impress it with all the positivity. So if you give some of these things a go, I really do think that you'll be able to start reprogramming your subconscious mind, especially when you're awake during the day. If you're new to the channel and you haven't already, please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up if it's helped you, and if you've got any questions, please leave them in the comments below.